Well guys, uh, today is uh, uh, March the 16th and we're getting hammered with the snow again today. And you know, not a whole lot I could do, but uh, just wait till the snow clears. So I decided to come out and harvest some uh, chaga. And this is a, uh, some that I seen a while ago. I got a Merton box right there and not too far from that box is a very very nice specimen of chaga just look at that probably the, the nicest specimen I ever found and I'm just gonna get my knife and just cut it in a line the sides and take a nice chunk of that off you know and uh, got like a little tripod sit up there with an old stick you know when you're uh, when you're harvesting chaga you don't want to take all of it you want to leave a bit there so you know what's left there will continue growing and this could be hard to get today because it's kind of froze a bit this could be a problem <laughs> yeah usually you want to harvest this a little earlier in the season so i had to resort to another technique here let's see if this is going to work oh that's a nice big chunk Couple of nice chunks there. Look at that. Nice chunk of chaga right there. And all those little bits. And a couple of pieces went over this way. Look at that. And I'll save every chunk, you know, and take that back and dry it out. And the wind is picking up as you can tell. There's still a nice chunk left there. I'm gonna leave that alone and I'll come back and uh, harvest uh, the rest of this next fall and hopefully they'll be growed out a little bit more. You know, and since I'm here, I'm gonna get a bag full of birch bark. And this stuff is great, you know, for lighting fires and stuff. And uh, you know, uh, since you know, it's all in the same area, you know, why pass it off? <laughs> Make hay when the sun shines, you know. Y'all know how well birch bark works, you know. So. This stuff is amazing, you know, when you got it. So it was great fire starter, you know, most everyone here didn't know, but I like to show it once in a while too, like for the younger crowd. Just look at that. Man, I can feel that heat already just from that bit of spark. Gosh, just look at the look at the burst burk coming off of this one here. Look at that, man! Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> oh. See, look at that, perfect fire starter. Look at that, big sheets of it coming off of that one there too. So, yeah. You know, when I move fishing with that little stove, that's time to I just uh, fill it up full of wood before I leave and jam a bit of birch bark there in the front of one and close up the door and take them like that, you know? Go to the east, open up the door, flick the lighter, and the stove is going right away. Forest fire swept through here three or four years ago, and uh, this wood is still dirty. It's still got a lot of soot on it. Uh, over time, you know, it washes off, wears off, and doesn't like how got a limb there, nice and clean for handling, but right now you gotta be careful. You can make an awful miss <laughs> yourself with this stuff, but uh, it's great wood to burn. Well, anyway, guys, this is just a quick little video to show you what I'm up to and uh. Let's do, you know, harvest a bit of chaga, some birch bark, and now a little bit of firewood. Uh, even though the day is bad, you know, you can always get a little something done. And later on, you know, on the good days, I won't have to worry about this. Uh, you know, I'll go right to the fishing hole. I already have my wood, birch bark, everything ready. And so, you know, and, you know, besides that, you're getting a little bit of exercise, a bit of fresh air. So, so don't let the weather stop you, you know, from uh, getting out there, you know. So, uh, yeah, so it's all good anyway. Just a quick video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully see you all in the next one.